Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back for my existing subscribers. This video is going to be centered around the AMD Radeon users that kind of want DLSS. They're kind of tired of waiting. So what you could do to access your Radeon software is to hit uh, the right mouse button. And then you can click Radeon software or you can check your, tr your tray uh, and open it from here. So double click, it'll open up, right? So you get this nice little overlay. If you don't know where to get it, you can go to amd.com and download your Radeon Adrenaline software, right? It's also how you update your graphics card, make sure it's up to date. They sometimes fix bugs. They also sometimes introduce new bugs. Uh, but for the most part, it's about fixing it, right? Here's your tabs up top. You want to go to gaming, global graphics. And what I'm going to be testing in this video when I throw on the gameplay, so I'm going to cut the comms and kind of explain the test scenario right? is anti lag is on, so it makes it feel a little bit better. But I start with the esports preset, and then from there, I go ahead and I turn. I think it's chill. I can't. Let's go ahead and do it. Whatever. So this is what it has. I turned on enhanced sync, left on reading uh, radio image sharpening. This is the main feature that I'm going to be kind of pitching on this one uh, to roll with, right? So with this here. I typically will either have it on 60 or 70% and then I can lower my resolution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Black Ops Cold War at 1080p with on this card. Obviously, it doesn't have DLSS ray tracing off. I just want to see what the performance is going to be. So I'll try to go for max settings, right? I'll keep max settings and then I'll go on my NVIDIA RTX 3080 and then I'll run DLSS performance mode um, and then see what the two differences the average of the of the spfps will be now the now I'll tell you for those of you that are kind of in the market and you hear about dlss it is a great feature it allows you to play a game at 1440p and what it looks like is kind of like you have your anti-aliasing turned all the way up um, but it also creates like this kind of a, a little bit of a smear across your screen so the image isn't as clear still looks good but it isn't as clear and radio image sharpening is the complete opposite it takes a picture it makes it a little bit more sharp and it makes it more clear. So on top of that, to me, to my eye, playing at 1080, 1080p with Radeon image sharpening versus playing at 1440p with DLSS looks about the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that out and see what the actual FPS is. You guys stay tuned. Let me know what the comments you have are in the comment section below. Be easy. Marking waypoint quarter.
Hardcore team deathmatch. MI6, you are cleared hot. Damn, you missed the stuff, baby. We're in the lead. Well, I'm trying to get the pistol kills, but every time I get the fourth kill, my teammate ends up killing me. I have been four times today so far. Damn, like a fool. Hmm. Care package on standby. Damn, I'm naked. One in the middle. Spy plane in the turn, reporting off south top. Oh damn, damn, we crushing them. Oh, really? Mark and wait for the They're talking, they finally got me. Damn. Move on my waypoint. Yeah, I move slow as hell with this fucking. Thing. Chaps, make your way to Xville. Damn, that old team. We just did good. 